Hi, my name is Joe Riesing. I'm at the Joint Institute for the Study of the Atmosphere and the Ocean at the University of Washington. I was the chief scientist on this expedition, so I led the, uh, the cruise and the trip to the West Mata eruption. The video that you'll be looking at is ma large magma bubbles are about three feet across, and the bubbles are molten rock that are expanded under the pressure, the gas pressure of magmatic gas. And the magmatic gas, we presume, is mostly water. And when the water is under the magma, it's at magmatic temperatures, thousands of degrees. And when it's suddenly cooled by coming in contact with seawater, the bubble bursts. So what excites me the most about this volcanic eruption is that we have that on planet Earth, this is a process happening all the time, and yet we have never seen it happening in quite this way. And the ocean floors are formed almost exclusively by volcanic activity. And strangely enough, we really have never seen molten lava flowing on the seafloor from a submarine volcano. We have seen in other eruptions much shallower in the ocean, but in this case, we're actually seeing molten lava flowing on the seafloor. We're seeing these magma bubbles. We're seeing these explosive events. We're seeing the, 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 the seafloor open up and pour out magma. And we're seeing these pillow lavas, probably one of the most common forms of rock on Earth. And despite the fact that this happens, 80% of the volcanoes, that 80% uh, of the eruptions basically on Earth are happening underwater. And we've never made these observations before.